up, Al Gore is under attack, and you're not going to believe by whom. Plus, the death penalty debate over child killer John Cooey and a scandal at Oprah Winfrey School in South Africa. That and more, next. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Al Gore's Spooky Horror Chiller Theater. Now, unnecessarily scaring you in boring vision. Al Well, a newspaper article came out today which said, Scientists argue that some of Mr. Gore's central points are exaggerated and they're erroneous. They were alarmed, some say, at his alarmism. And where did this article appear? What evil conservative Wall Street Journal rag did this come from? None. Came from the New York Times. Here's the point tonight. <laughs> Ha! Al Gore is finally being slammed in the face for his distortion of science and the facts. And it's being done by the New York Times. Some days, it just doesn't get any better. Here's how I got there. If you were one of the people who managed to stay awake during an inconvenient truth, then you know what's in it. That Al Gore talks about a future in which temperatures rise until the Earth turns into a giant global fire, basically melting everybody and then drowning them in a giant tidal wave, unless we act boldly. This guy, I swear to you, makes me look like Captain Happy Pants and Mr. Sunshine all rolled up into one. According to that noted right-wing rag, the New York Times, Al Gore, not so much. Don Easterbrook, he is a professor of geology, says in the article that Gore's statements are, quote, full of inaccuracies and need to be tempered with real data. Sure, some people might say, oh, this guy's just a big shill for big oil companies. Wrong. Don Easterbrook hasn't been paid a nickel by the oil companies, and in his own words, he's not a Republican. He's part of a growing group of people who see global warming as a threat, but are challenging the scare tactics of extremists. The article also calls attention to Gore's claims that our oceans would eventually rise by up to 20 feet, destroying parts of New York and Florida along the way. Turns out, it seems... Al may have accidentally mistaken feet for inches. The truth is the water level may rise by a maximum of 23 inches over the next 100 years. And that happy fact comes from the UN. Not exactly a credible source in my book. Still a far cry from the Poseidon wave that Al depicts in his movie. Now, to me... It's about time that these people got reeled back in. In fact, it's way past time. It's amazing to me that it took a year to do it. If one of these things is, was just in a movie, just a movie, it wouldn't be so bad. But an inconvenient truth is being shown in schools all across the country. On my radio show, I have received so many calls from concerned parents who say, my kids have had to watch this thing. In fact, I had a call from a guy, had to, his 13-year-old daughter had to watch it four times in an art class, and the kids are getting lower grades if they dare to disagree with the facts in this movie. Well, America, don't worry. The New York Times, the paper of record, is on it now. A year late, and an Oscar later, but they're on it. Can you imagine how fast any conservative would have been taken apart by the Times had they used the scare tactics like this? Now, I'm fully aware that, you know, pot calling kettle black here on this program, I do use scare tactics, sure, but I'm not exactly the TV show host of record.